Hello and happy May. Now, as you saw in my April money update, I am now under $50,000 of debt, which still feels like a lot, but I am excited that I've hit a new milestone. I'm really not sure what I want to do at this point, so I'll talk about that in a bit, but let me first run through a couple of the goals that I have for May. It's really the same thing as every other month, but uh, no spend, of course, because we're doing a no spend year. So um, you can go back and watch that video so you can see what things I am not allowing myself to spend money on. And then I also want to stay under budget on my groceries. Less than $250, I need to do this. I need to pay attention to what I'm actually purchasing and plan it out more specifically because I have the ability to do that and I am just being lazy and not paying attention to what I'm buying at the grocery store or what I'm spending on food. I really don't spend much on going out to eat. I purchased Chipotle once last month and that's like, it's usually just one thing throughout the month. It's just the groceries. Overall, things are going really well for me financially and I am very grateful to say that. I just don't know really what to do and maybe if you guys have any opinions or advice that you have to offer on this situation i am able to pay all of my bills obviously and i am not living paycheck to paycheck i am able to save more than you know a lot of people can by i put money to my roth ira i put money to my sinking funds am able to put extra to debt even on top of that and so that's where i'm not sure what i want to do in regards to my student loans right now my minimum payment for my student loans is $127 and some change, so almost $128. And if you have student loans or if you're aware, right now we do not have to pay student loans at all. My auto payments have been paused. I didn't even choose to do that. They just did it automatically. So if I wanted to make an extra payment, I could go in and do that. Right now, like for the month of May, I can't put hundreds of dollars to my debt, but I want to pay off debt, but I also want to save because I want, I don't know, I really don't know what I want to do. I am putting an extra 200 to my emergency savings each month. Well, just 200 to my emergency savings each month. And so for May, I will have $1,300 in my emergency savings, plus whatever I have in my sinking funds and for my taxes, which um, I could use if I really needed to. And so I have probably 2,500 or so. And I want to keep adding to it, but I could also fluff it up even more by not paying my student loan debt right now and putting that to the emergency fund, if that makes sense. Um, there's other goals I have in mind, you know, like just saving for future endeavors and like maybe I should be taking more, you know, sh should take advantage of this time where my student loans, I don't have to pay them and they don't have interest accruing on them. I don't know, or I could invest more. Like, I really don't know what I should do with my money. I think the main thing that I'm gonna struggle with is not seeing progress on my debt. And so for a lot of people, it would make more sense to invest right now because all of my, my loans are, it's 4.41 is the highest for one of my student loans at like $4,000 and the rest are below that. Most of them are in the 3% range. And so it would make more sense to invest more into index funds or something like that, or maybe even saving. But I don't know. I really want to make progress on my debt, but at the same time, I want to save more money so I have like a three-month cushion and also have money for a future down payment or a future like business venture. I don't know. What would you do? And that's really what I'm struggling with. So I don't know if I'm going to make that student loan payment this month or not, or just save it. It's only $128, but that adds up. I guess what I could do is save it. And if I really wanted to pay those amounts by September, then I could do it in a chunk, you know, like a $600, $700 chunk. I don't know. I think I'm talking too much though. Let's just jump right into my May budget. Here is my May spread. Looks like all my other months, but different colors for the heading. But first we're gonna talk about my income briefly. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll still be getting what I've been getting, 4658. Hopefully that actually goes up. 
And then I do know from Mediavine, I'll be making $263.69. For these other ones, AdSense, Teachable, Amazon, Etsy, Selling, and anything outside of those, I do not know yet, and I will update at the end of the month. Okay, now on to my budget. So if you are new here, I have to pay taxes on all of my income, including my full-time job. So I put money aside into a high yield savings account and then I pay my taxes quarterly. So this first area I'm budgeting $1,000. That may be less, it should be less. Sinking funds is one thing I'm changing as I mentioned, so I'm actually putting an extra 100 to my emergency savings, so 200 total to my emergency savings. I also save for um, medical and dental bills, for vacation, for car maintenance, and for gifts. My Roth IRA, as I talked about, I moved over to Vanguard and I want to get that over 3,000, so I'm gonna add 300 to it. Donate 50. My rent is going up in May. Well, my first year and uh, what was it, like 15 months that I signed on to, my first lease is over in the middle of May and so they're prorating the amount and then I extended my lease so it went up a little bit. And so this is gonna be 1330 for the month of May and then it'll go up after that to a little bit more than that. Renter's insurance is still 1550. Trash is still 35. Wi-Fi will still be 55. My electricity, I'm budgeting 60. I haven't used any air conditioning whatsoever still, and I'm trying not to use my lights too much since I'm home more often, obviously. Water and sewage, um, I already know what this is gonna be, so I'm just gonna put that. I typically budget 40 for this, but I already know it. It's actually 41.56. It's a little higher because I've been home more. So that's okay. Food, I'm gonna budget 250 as usual. We're gonna really try and stay under that. Food and groceries. Gas for my car, I'm gonna put at, I don't know if we'll be going back to work or what. I'm gonna put 50 just in case, but I think it'll be probably below 25 again. The minimum payment of my car is 382.55. My student loans, I was gonna put extra to this, but since my whole Roth IRA situation, I'm going to put, I think, I still don't know about this one, I think I'm gonna put 127.86, the minimum payment typically, and just put it to one loan since I don't actually have to pay that. My insurance is always 147.15, this includes life insurance, dental, and vision. Health like vitamins, things like that, any medical bills. I'm putting this at, ooh, do I need to get anything? I don't know. I'll put this at 50, but I think it'll be lower. Phone, car insurance, and money to help out with my dogs, 230, always. For my business, I don't think I will have to be, oh, yes I do, 235. 235, there's a service that I have that's like, um, monitoring, security monitoring of my site. My site has been hacked before and they fixed it, so I'm paying for that. And also anti-spam comes out in May. So those are just recurring payments from the year. I pay those annually. And also for Tailwind, which is a Pinterest scheduling service and G Suite to have like a specific email. Spotify is $9.99. That's always that. Grow You, I don't know if I'm gonna cancel this or if I'll have to pay for this um, because I'm like already, I don't know how to explain it, but she's also increasing the price. So it was 70, no, it was 49 before. She's raising it to 79. And I don't know if I'm gonna cancel it. I said that I would. I told myself that I would, but I don't know if I want to. I wanted to kind of like stay in it for the year that a full year of her program, but I don't know yet. Gifts, May is, there's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna put $50 aside for gifts. Um, I also know that I need to, uh, my Fitbit broke, I'm not wearing my Fitbit, and I prefer to be, I just like having a watch, honestly. And the band broke, so I need to buy replacement band. 
they're really cheap like less than five dollars and i know that's like kind of a a no spend area but i that's something i'm gonna like need i don't know is that fine to justify well i'm gonna be buying that and i also need to buy toothbrush heads so um should i put that i don't know what that's gonna be from amazon so i'll put amazon on here and it's gonna be those two things and i'm gonna guess that's less than thirty dollars okay so this if i spend all this it will be four thousand nine hundred twenty seven dollars and five cents and we'll see how the month of may goes all right so my may budget looks pretty typical which you usually see on my channel um, what's exciting is I just got below $50,000 of debt, but I will now be under, after this month, I'll be under $49,000. So it's pretty cool to see the numbers dropping and hopefully I can continue that. Comment down below what your financial goals are or any of your goals are for the month of May. And also comment down below what you would do if you were in this financial situation where you could put money towards your student loan debt, but you don't have to, and you kind of want to save, but you kind of want to pay off debt more. <laughs> uh, let me know what your opinions are, what your advice is in my situation. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you in my next video.